Hello and welcome back to Station Ears. I'm Mick and today we're looking at the new farming update. Uh, now they have said as part of the update there that this is the first of a couple of updates on this. So uh, there is more to follow. So yes, it's probably not really complete. There are a few things not fully integrated and there are a couple of bugs in it. But um, uh, that's to be expected because uh, it is brand new. They have taken a little while and they have gotten uh, rewritten the pl all the guts of the pl of the uh, farming thing. So um, yeah, so a few things have changed. Um, some are good, some I'm not too thrilled about. But um, uh, as I say, they're not finished yet. Some things are most likely changed. Now I remember last time they did the first of the farming update there. Uh, I was explaining the growth cycle, showing some rice. And the rice could grow as fast as I could actually um, explain the growth cycle. Well, not anymore. It takes quite a while to grow. Um, so here's what I found out so far. Cause it's taken me a fair while to test all this because it does take a damn long time for things to happen. So um, yeah, it's taken a little while to happen. Right. So now what we used to have is your plants had grow, they'd have seeds and then they'd create the food. The seeds disappear and the foods had stay. But now uh, they grow, they will produce the corn here. It grows, it will produce three corn. And then if you leave it a bit longer, it also produces a seed. You only get one seed out of it, so it's a bit of a tight ass there. But um, they take a while and they did take a good few days to, uh, to grow. Uh, so wheat, similar sort of thing. It'll produce three wheat and you'll leave it a bit longer. The seed comes out, the soy does the same. Uh, once you harvest it all, they disappear. Uh, now the wheat does have a bit of a bug there because it keeps disappearing on me. There is a wheat there, really, but each time I load in, different ones appear and different don't. So um, yeah, I'd say that might be one of the bugs they were talking about there. Or it could be just that I'm on an old saved game. I just I just uh, used an old saved game, so I've already got a greenhouse built. But anyway. Uh, so there, it's just the wheat, all the other ones seem to go alright, or it could just be my save, as I say. Now, the uh, we've got the uh, you know, soybeans, the wheat, the rice, the ferns. Once in the ferns, I only get two of them, and one seed, and the old potatoes are in there somewhere. Lots of potatoes. Two potatoes, one potato seed. Now, the potatoes still grow quickly, so they'll grow in a day. Uh, which is probably one of the things I don't really like, I've got to say. Uh, I like the way the old ones were. It's, I like, liked it to make food be a struggle. Because the old times there, all you need to do is get one potato in your portable hydroponics and chuck it in front of a window. And that was enough to see you enough food for the rest of the game. Well, you can still do that with one potato. So um, that's a bit easy. Uh, so I'd like to see them take a bit longer to grow. Um, I admit it, be having it grow quickly would be good for uh, people who are just learning the game. But for people who've been playing it for a while, uh, who want to have, have, have a, a three, three or four hours in it like I do, um, they probably want a bit more of a challenge. So I suppose, well, I suppose instead of complaining about it, so I'd say it'd be nice if the plant growth time actually scaled with the difficulty level. So when you're playing easy, yeah, sure, the plants grow one or two days. Uh, when you get to normal difficulty, they maybe go four to eight days. And when you put it on hard difficulty, uh, maybe it goes from 10 to 20 days. Um, so they just make food a bit harder to do. You've got to put in a bigger garden. You've got to maintain the garden. And if you stuff up the garden, you're screwed. Um, I mean, just having them growing slowly, it's not too much of a problem. Oh, this base is getting old and framey. Because uh, you still do have your flowers which grow pretty quickly and they're still a good source of biomass if you want to still use them on um, on Venus. Because on Venus your biomass is your source of hydrogen pretty much. So you've still got the flowers growing quickly. You still have a source of biomass even if all these other ones do now take a while to grow. Um, now the exceptions to these ones are the pumpkins and the tomatoes. Now all the other ones, once you pick them, uh, if we pick the seeds, uh, there's your seeds, and you pick your three corn, and the plant's gone. You then have to replant. So I can replant the corn again, and it grows. Not a problem. Now the pumpkins and tomatoes are perennials. So once you pick them, 
uh, once they grow, they'll produce three pumpkins or three tomatoes. Oh, they do come back as seeds. Oh, that was taking forever. Um, right. So, so it's taken a while to test it there, and I've just about given up on that one. Now I was going to say it doesn't come back to the second lot of seeds. Now, when I picked these ones, when say once these ones first became pumpkins, I picked three pumpkins on the front one, and now it is. Once I picked the three pumpkins, it went back to a stage four growth. Now that one should come back with more pumpkins, but they are very, very slow. And once they grow pumpkins, if you leave them for longer, they do eventually get produce seeds. Um, but you're getting three pumpkins and one seed. So it takes a long time for the seeds to come back on the pump. It takes forever for the seeds to turn up on the tomatoes. Um, but once again, uh, yeah, I thought those seeds were never going to come back again. If you do pick the seeds and the, or if you do pick the tomatoes, they will seed again a second time as well. So if I pick the seeds, yoink, and pick the tomatoes again, one, two, three, it's actually gone back to uh, stage four plant. And that one will sprout back more tomatoes. And you see now it's actually red there. I cannot accidentally harvest it too many times, which is very good. I do like that one. I actually have to hold down C, uh, as it says on the, uh, the help, help, help tag there. Press C, and then I can clear the plant. If I don't press C, I can't accidentally click on it too many times and clear it. That is really good. And even that spot that's on the, uh, on, on the, uh, it used to be on the plant is here, where you could accidentally pull out the plant um, when you're trying to harvest it. I think that one's gone. I have not been able to accidentally pull out a plant anymore. So that was super annoying. And I think that's gone now. So that is pretty cool. And when it comes to dropping all your stuff, I uh, see I've got the seeds there. Now the seeds will harvest first, unless I've got more potatoes, but tomatoes in my hand. So now when I do it, it just picks the tomatoes first. And it won't let me pick any more. Switch hands, and I've got the seeds. Now it's back to a stage four plant again. Um, right, so as I say, the pumpkins have taken forever to come back. Uh, the tomatoes come back reasonably quickly, so yeah, they're good. Uh, and mushrooms, we've got mushrooms. Mushroom seeds now, or mushroom spores, I guess you'd call them. Uh, so they are pretty cool. Uh, we have them uh, right here. Mushroom seeds. But you pick them up. Uh oh, they're not mushrooms. They're mushrooms. No, they're not. Uh, so I would say it's not 100% not all working there. And of course, in creative, we have had a long time. There, you've got your cans of tomatoes. And we do actually, mushrooms, not tomatoes, we do actually pick cooked mushrooms there. Although they've got green spots on them there, I don't know if I want to eat them there, but um, well, you actually can't eat them. Uh, they've been in creative for a while there, and they might actually get implemented now, although the recipes still haven't been added to the machine. So, uh, yeah, as I say, it's not fully implemented, so um, give them a chance, well, they'll get there. Uh, right, so, as I say, all of them go through, and they are produce different, they produce their food and then their seeds, and they, the seeds don't disappear. So it used to be really annoying where if you miss the seeding stage, you've, you've just missed it completely and tough titties. Uh, but now you don't. The seeds stay, or the vegetables stay, and the seeds stay. Um, right, fertilizer has changed. These are my test ones here. They were my standard ones. Uh, I put the um, food fertilizer on there and the decayed food fertilizer on this row. This one definitely grows the fastest, although not twice the speed like it used to. Uh, I think they said in the patch notes that it is only 20, 25% faster now. Uh, these ones grew somewhere in between, and the ones with no fertilizer grew the slowest. But there is no increase in yield that I can see. Well, not with potatoes anyway. So they've all still produced two potatoes each. Um, so yeah, not much good. Um, but if you use fertilizer on the tomatoes, I'm guessing that all the future respawns of the tomatoes will actually help coming quicker? I don't know, but um, one thing to find out. Um, another little bug I've noticed is that if you harvest part of the crop, if I pick one of each of these, when I load back in, there'll be two on each of them there left. Uh, so I think the save game doesn't quite store the... Uh, the, the half harvested plants properly, but oh well, uh, that's something that happens. Um, 
Right, so the non-perennial plants, once you harvest the seeds, they will not sprout any more seeds. Uh, so you may as well just harvest the whole lot once that's happened. And of course you can plant the plants or plant the seeds, either way works. Now another change they've made is the plants actually do grow in the dark now. Uh, they're not real happy about it, but not only do they grow in the dark, some of them actually need dark. Um, so if we say uh, pumpkins, Oops. pumpkins, if we grab a look at the pumpkins here, we've got all this extra information about the pumpkins there. It'll tell you your water usage, the, the gas usage, what gas produces, uh, what it's toxic to. Ideal growth, to growth temperatures, most of them are 20 to 30 degrees. Uh, your pressures and um, uh, all that sort of stuff, how quickly it takes that there. But you need 10 minutes of light per day and five minutes of darkness per day. So not only will it grow in the dark, but it actually needs darkness. So you can't leave your grow lights on 24 seven anymore. You'll have to program your greenhouse manager to actually switch them off. Uh, now I do have my day length set up to be double normal, so I, I think they, they plants don't really like that. So they might still complain about not getting the right amount of daylight, even if they are just growing in, in daylight. Um, but you actually have the tool, tool tip on here, it actually tells you how well the plant's growing, that one's thriving, it's receiving light, uh, they do eventually, some of them will tell you and complain and sort of say, oh this one is not, yeah, is not receiving the correct amount of light per day because that's a mushroom and it doesn't like any light at all, at all today, it likes to grow in the dark. Uh, so, um, so that one's of course going to complain about being out in the sunshine. Uh, but then the plants here are another thing to look at. Oh, 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 this is one that will catch you by surprise if you're not careful, the soybeans. Um, so if we look at them, oh, soy, you know, three letters is not enough. Oh, there we go. Soybean. Soybean actually needs carbon dioxide and nitrogen to grow. So if you're just trying to grow soybeans in a straight carbon dioxide atmosphere, it's not going to like it. Uh, so yeah, problems there. Uh, so yes, make sure you get some nitrogen for them. All the rest of them, I think, are, are just carbon dioxide. Um, but most of them have the same growth temperature required time during day and night. Now the potatoes don't require any darkness. You can leave them growing 24-7 under the grow lights. They'll be happy with that. And um, yeah, so that's the difference on the growth of them there. Now uh, they do take a lot longer to grow. Uh, I think the wheat is, or the corn is, uh, the pumpkins were about 15 days, tomatoes about 12 days, the other one's about five days, I think. The ferns and the pota potatoes were just one day. Ferns were like two days uh, and everything else was about three or four days. Uh, as I say, it'd be nice if that scaled with the difficulty, but um, uh, not at the moment. Uh, right, so, so the Harvey, oh, uh, now they have probably not quite been implemented completely. Because now we've got to get them to, well, I mean, they, they've put the logic in, they've, they've updated the logic so it works, but um, I've noticed a bit of a glitch with the Harvey, I'll show you that one in a minute. But now this one has uh, tomatoes and it has seeds. So if we look at this one here that is reading uh, T2, which is U, uh, so that one is looking at the, this is a slot reader which is reading from the hydroponics device. It is reading the, uh, the seeding, right, it says, it says one, so it is seeding, we know it's seeding. Uh, and if we change that to the mature, uh, it says it's mature because it's got fruit on it. Now as it grows up, as soon as it sprouts fruit, it'll say it's mature. But if you want the seeds on it, uh, don't harvest it. Uh, so how do you know if it's spr if sprouted seeds? Well, uh, if we look at the seeds, we find uh, the seeding is one, which means it has seeds. If I pick the seeds, it now says seeding is zero to tell us that the seeding has been done. Now, if I pick the plant, two, three, it goes back to growth state four, 
and the seeding is now minus 1. So the seeding is minus 1, it hasn't produced seeds. So if it becomes mature, but the seed is minus 1, uh, you haven't got seeds yet, so don't harvest it. But as soon as your seeding comes, gets to 1, you can just harvest it and pick all the, all the seed. well just keep harvesting it until the seeds go back to minus 1. That's all you really need to look for if you want the seeds. So if you want the seeds, just wait till the, the seeding is above minus one. So if it's one, meaning you've got seeds, or it's zero, meaning it's already had the seeds, just, just keep harvesting until you've got everything, because that means everything's there and ready to harvest. Um, right. Uh, but that's them. So, but I, <laughs> so I have noticed a, um, an, an, an issue with the harvies there, because if I... Um, Little trick there is if I if I if I plant something in there, we have oh, there's a tomato. If I if I harvest that, oh, I've picked a tomato straight away. Oops, oh, oh, piece of candy. And again, oh, piece of candy. And it now thinks it's picked its three tomatoes, and it's immediately gone back to growth stage four. Whoops. As I say, it's not fully integrated yet. They've just been doing the work and and, and getting it all done. So um, yeah, so that's it there. And of course, I can keep uh, harvesting tomatoes continuously. And but uh, oops, uh, it'll get there. So yeah, Harvey's not quite there yet, but um, they'll get there. Now that one has seeds. Uh, I'm guessing Harvey can pick seeds too. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a seed. There we go. No worries. So uh, Harvey's got that under control. And you should now pick the rest of the fruit. I've actually adjusted the code so it does pick it properly. It won't keep infinitely picking ones that aren't there. Uh, you. And one more. Whenever you're ready. All right. Now it should stop. Yay! That stopped. Okay. Uh, right, so the Harveys are there. So now another thing is if you were had, I have done on previous ones, they just had the Harveys stacked together as tight as you can and had one hydroponics device and a heap of trays to it. Um, just reading one of them and having all the plants at the same growth state doesn't work. So there is a slight bit of variation in the growth rates of the plants. And um, so, yeah, if you're just reading one, it doesn't mean all of the other ones are ready to go. But if you trigger the, the, the um, actual harvest thing early, uh, I'm not sure if it'll clear the plant or not because, um, well, as I demonstrated, it'll just pick food whether it's food ready there or not. Um, but uh, because it's now you can't clear the plant unless you deliberately do it, I'm not sure if Harvey will do that as well. Hopefully if you trigger the harvest command when it's not ready, it'll just do nothing. But um, I guess that's something we'll find out in the future updates because um, I dare say they were just tinkering with the plants for this update and they haven't quite got it into the Harveys and the ovens and things and stuff yet. Okay, so other things we've got here is the genetics, uh, genetic analyzer. We've got the genetic gun or sampler and we got the little analyzer thing we got there as well now this one we can actually point it at a plant get a sample and we just chuck it in this thing here uh, switch it on and it starts spinning that looks fragile whoops no no it's pretty good uh, so That'll do that. Our little doodad is empty. I can click this one here and look at the analysis of it. Now it shows us the growth range, temperature range, the pressure range. Now, uh, I'll grow speed multiply. That hasn't really changed anything at all. It tells you how much light it needs per day, how much darkness, and the gas production, and all that sort of stuff there. Now, depending on what you've done to that plant while it's been growing, uh, its seeds may be a little bit off where they should be. Uh, so this one is, well, I think it was meant to be between uh, 20 and 30. It's now 
can grow at a slightly lesser temperature than uh, 20 and a slightly higher temperature than 30. So I must have been not quite had the temperature right in the middle. So it's been doing doing a little bit like that. And um, uh, I guess it's, uh, it's, it's mutated. So it can actually grow at slightly higher or lower temperatures there. Uh, I think that comes at the cost of growth rate or yield. So um, it's best to look after them and be nice to them. Uh, but I am curious to see just if you can use any shenanigans on that one there. Uh, so the plant should be between 20 and 30 degrees, but it will grow up to 50, between 0 and 50 degrees. So if you grow a plant and continuously torture it and hold it as close to 50 as possible, uh, how high can you get that growth temperature? It takes ages for a, a, um, a plant to grow, so um, I haven't run through many uh, generations of plants to find that out there. But uh, I do want to know, can I grow plants that are up to 430 degrees? Can I plant them outside on Venus? Uh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the dial only goes up to 80 degrees here, so I think that might actually be the high one there. But uh, it'd be cool if you could plant stuff outside on Venus or outside on Europa or reduce the pressure. Reduce the pressure so I can plant them outside, out here in Mars, and I can actually terraform the planet. Uh, well, they, I mean, about a year ago, they did talk about uh, the, the new uh, mystery or new end game goal to have there. Could that be terraforming? Or is that asking too much? That would be a hell of a lot to try and program in. So probably not, <laughs> but it would be cool. Uh, right, so that's that one there. So I say, if you go through and check each of your each of your plants there, you can pick out the one which has got the best characteristics and then just replant that one. Of course, each generation will mutate a little bit more. And well, as I say, if it only goes up one degree per generation and you've got to get through 400 degrees and it takes five or 10 days to go through a generation of plants, that's a lot of game days you've got to go through. Uh, but yeah, anyway, somebody will do it. Uh, I probably won't have the patience for that, but anyway. And again, if you've got Harvey onto it, I guess it'll go all right. Fertilizer, as I say, fertilizer is not going to speed up the process much for you anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. So that's the plant growth. Uh, as I say, the Harveys, uh, they will need a little bit of work there, a little bit of adjustment. So the old Harvey scripts, they will still work, but they won't collect seeds for you. Um, so you do need a little bit of a, an adjustment on that one there. But that is probably the guts of it there. They have had a massive rewrite on the way these grow. Um, so I'd say there's a couple of bugs there. I'd like to see the potatoes take a bit longer to grow. I'd like it if they would actually grow time would scale with difficulty. Uh, all the pumpkins have finally come back, finally. Wow, they take ages to re-sprout. Um, yeah, so tomatoes are probably a bit of, they're probably going to be the, the food of choice now. Uh, well, or, or potatoes, which just grow still ridiculously too quick. Um, but yeah, chuck some uh, fast growing fertilizer, which I think make your fertilizer out of decayed food, and that gives you the best growth rate. Uh, chuck down a heap of tomatoes. Don't bother waiting for the seeds. That takes freaking ages. Uh, but just plant them, harvest the tomatoes. That's probably going to be your food of choice now. And um, uh, yeah, or your potatoes if you want an easy run. Uh, as I say, you've still got biomass in the form of the flowers. And um, well, I don't know if it's always been this way, but the, um, I've noticed in the in the flowers, the tropical lily, uh, it actually gets a growth temperature between 40 and 50 degrees. Is that why they've always died on me? Maybe they've always been like that and they've always died. And I've never been able to figure out why. I never really looked up there. I probably didn't have that information before, but I just thought I was a crappy gardener. Well, I mean, I am a crappy gardener, but um, now I know why. Uh, so uh, that's, that's, that's uh, yeah, you can't crossbreed them to get the temperature higher. But yeah, oh well. Um, so I say, yeah, so it is time to uh, 
plant some more crop, put some different varieties of crops out because they grow a lot slower now. So you're going to need a lot more plants to keep yourself alive. Uh, so whichever one you want, don't be too fast about it. I suppose you don't even really need the har harveys anymore. You don't have to har harvest your crops every five minutes now. You've got to wait a few days there. So probably just harvesting by hand is probably not going to be such a chore anymore. So, um, but uh, there you go. Um, or if you'd rather just walk away and never have to go gardening again, <coughs> as I would, uh, I've just got to get a robot lawnmower and I never have to go out and see that either. Uh, it's good to live out in the country. All the wonderful plants. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's probably about it. There's been, I say, a lot of work done behind the scenes on that one there and probably not a great deal to show for it in the actual gameplay side of things. Just that the plants take a lot longer to grow now and the seeds come out after the food. So, um, yep, there you go. Uh, but they, I say they've picked that bug where you could accidentally pull the plant out. That is good. That is good. That, that it was worth it just for that. That was so annoying. Uh, yeah. Uh, but as I say, uh, when they have another shot at the Harveys, get them working properly, we'll do another video on programming the Harveys and how we can actually get them to batch right out to all the Harveys there. We'll see how we go. Uh, but that's about it. That is, as I say, there's probably not a lot to show off, but it, it is really cool. We got the new plant analyzer. If you've got the patience to go through and breed some better plants. Uh, but yeah, if anybody has found out if you can actually get something to grow at a temperature where or pressure where you can run it outside on any of the planets there, I'd really like to know because that would be so cool. Um, yeah, but uh, as I say, it's about it. So uh, go do some gardening. Have some fun. Uh, until next time, happy building. See ya.